In this pro model solution, we're going to talk about preemptive location downtimes. So for example, here in this model, we have our entity gear that requires 10 hours of processing at machine one. But machine one is scheduled to go down five hours into the simulation. And so we route the gear entity to the alternate machine location to finish processing. So first let's take a look at the locations table. and We'll double click into the downtime for the machine one location and select clock. So here under the first time we have it set to five hours so five hours into the simulation machine one will go down. It has a priority of 100 which will preempt the entity out of the location. So now we'll go into the processing table and we have two different processing records for the gear at the machine one location. So this first processing record is just a normal record and we have the processing time of await 100 hours and it routes out to the additional process location. The second process record is our preemptive process record so if you double click into the entity field and there's this box here that you can check that says preemption process so that process record will be used if the entity is preempted out of the machine one location and we'll double click into the operation logic and so we have an attribute a time remaining that we set equal to the time left function which returns the amount of processing time that is left when an entity is preempted. And so the gear will route out to the alternate machine and finish processing there. And then in the operation logic of the alternate machine, first we'll just display how much time is left, which is contained within that attribute value A time remaining, and we'll change the graphic to graphic 2 and we will wait for the a time remaining value. So let's run the simulation. So the gear is being processed here at machine one. As you can see we are five hours into the simulation and our display statement comes up and tells us that we have 300 minutes or five more hours left of processing and so we see the gear come over to the alternate machine location and finish processing. And that's how you preempt an entity in one location and finish processing it at another location. That concludes this solution. Have a great day and happy modeling.